Republican candidate J.D. Vance, who's running for a Senate seat in Ohio, decided to put out this insane 30 second ad. Let's watch. Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? The media calls us racist for wanting to build Trump's wall. They censor us, but it doesn't change the truth. Joe Biden's open border is killing Ohioans, with more illegal drugs and more Democrat voters pouring into this country. This issue is personal. I nearly lost my mother to the poison coming across our border. No child should grow up an orphan. I'm JD Vance, and I approve this message because whatever they call us, we will put America first. Okay, so uh, there is no open border policy. Uh, in fact, Biden continued with Trump's policy of banning asylum seekers from entering the country, uh, citing COVID as the reasoning behind it. Which of course, it had nothing to do with uh, stopping the spread of COVID. Our country performed very poorly when it came to uh, containing the virus and, and also ensuring that people are vaccinated and all of that. But that's beside the point, uh, there is no open border policy. So let's get that out of the way. The other thing I wanna just mention, Democrat voters are pouring into the country. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works, you know, because undocumented individuals in the United States allegedly have voting rights. And they could just lie, he could just lie. But obviously, Jenk, I'm not addressing the elephant in the room. Do you hate Mexicans? Me too. <laughs> yeah. And then he goes on with this like anti immigrant, anti Mexican rant, uh, all while fear mongering about them, allegedly uh, causing crime, uh, funneling drugs into the country. Which, by the way, what happened to all that funding for Border Patrol? What happened to uh, Trump allegedly successfully stopping the flow of drugs being smuggled into the country? Turns out he didn't do so well with that, did he? Didn't do so well. I mean, Aren't we supposed to have secure borders that are supposed to prevent uh, the smuggling of all sorts of bad things uh, across the border, like meth, like heroin, whatever drug that uh, he wants to fearmonger about in that ad? What happened? Yeah. Um, so I was confused by the question because I didn't know whether he wanted the audience that he's appeal trying to appeal to to answer yes or no. He's like, are you racist? It sounded like it was like a solicitation. Are you racist? Do you hate Mexicans? Then come vote for me, I'm JD Vance. And I took my hood off so you could see my face. This is what I look like under my hood. Are you also Klan? Come vote for me. Now you say, well, hey, no, 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 he doesn't mean that. He means they're, it's outrageous that they're being called racist. Then later in that ad, and it's only a 30 second ad, he said, they're trying to bring in Democrat voters. So you think every Latino immigrant is going to be a Democrat? Why do you assume that? Huh, it, it looks like you're making a blanket assumption based on their race. Huh, funny how that works. And then you're saying that Ohioans are getting killed by those same Latino immigrants, getting killed. Mm. Gee, I wonder why we call you a racist and think you hate Mexicans when you just told everybody in Ohio, Oh my God, those Mexicans are coming to murder you. And they're all gonna vote for Democrats because you know how they are, right? Oh, Golly gee, I don't know where you got race into this from. By the way, just so you know, Anna's got more receipts in a second. But natural born American citizens are four times more likely to commit crime than a new immigrant to this country. Four times more likely. So the people killing Ohioans are Ohioans. And so there is no basis in reality for what he's saying. The only reason he says that stuff about crime is because he's a racist. JD Vance, go cry about it, make another ad. Are you no, saying I I'm a racist just because I'm racist against Mexicans and I hate them and I think they're gonna kill you even though we're the ones actually killing you? Yes, that's what I think, JD. And in fact, we're gonna show your nonsense story about your mom too. So yeah, I'm coming after you on that too. So, But Anna, go ahead with more receipts. I just, I, I mean, I think the American people deserve an answer to this very important question. When are we gonna stop Ohioan on Ohioan crime? That's right, there's when something wrong with their culture. Uh, there's something, something wrong, wrong with, with Republican culture. culture. In Ohio. You know, right wing culture in Ohio is getting people killed. Mm. Um, and by the way, uh, let's take a look at the statistics uh, because I don't know if you guys know this. I mean, look, 
geography is not my strong suit either. But believe it or not, Ohio does not share a border with Mexico. Huh. In fact, if you look at the demographics in Ohio, a whopping, according to the 2021 census, a whopping 4% of Ohio, 4% is Hispanic or Latino. And only 4.6% are foreign born. So Ohio, Lily White, and we need to know when are we gonna stop this white on white crime? When are we gonna stop it? When are we gonna stop it's it? It's killing according Ohio. To JD Vance, according to JD Vance, there's a lot of problems in Ohio. People are killing each other. It's, I mean, Anna, you're absolutely right. Uh, the Ohioans are getting killed because of the culture uh, in Ohio of right wing uh, violence. And so I don't know when it's gonna be stopped. Uh, I'm sure JD Vance is gonna do his next ad about it. But give us more details because I, I wanna get into his nonsense claim about his mom and tell you who actually tried to kill her. So if you take a look at uh, what's actually killing Ohioans, um, it's similar to what we're seeing in many, many other states. It's actually heartbreaking, it's terrible. And to uh, use the kind of Political tactics in you know talking about it. It just shows you how little interest JD Vance and Republicans like him really care about solving this very real problem. The top issue that's killing Ohioans, one of the top issues actually, is drug abuse, opioid drug abuse to be specific. Ohio has the fourth largest opioid involved overdose deaths per capita in the country per capita. So you're looking at a map if you're watching us either on TV or online. And the areas that are a darker shade of red represent the parts of the country where the opioid epidemic is at its worst. It's killing the the largest numbers of people per capita. And so Ohio's up there as you can see, it's it's dark red. And Vance apparently has no criticism for the pharmaceutical companies that got Americans addicted to these painkillers to begin with. And it doesn't matter, he's gonna continue exploiting the tragedy of his mother for his campaigning purposes while completely ignoring the corporate fueled problem, the pharmaceutical fueled problem that we're seeing not just in Ohio, but across the country. Yeah, so JD Vance is a sick person who's using his mom as a political ploy and a prop. His mom did not take any drugs crossing the border by those dangerous Mexicans. If she did on top of what we already know, then JD Vance should make that clear. Oh, by the way, my mom actually got directly got drugs, meth or whatever it is from a Mexican drug dealer. Be honest about it, tell us what it is. But of course, he's not gonna say that because that's not what happened. What happened to his mom is clear and he's talked about it before. It was painkillers that she got from a pill mill in Ohio, okay? that Those are drugs made by American Pharmaceutical companies. JD Vance is in that crowd of extreme right wingers who are like, oh, the big drug companies, I don't trust their vaccines, man. You should go get die instead of taking their vaccines. Oh, the opioids that nearly killed my mom. I love it. Love it. Not going to do anything about it. Okay. As a Republican, in fact, I'm going to misdirect your anger and say it was the Mexicans who did it, not incredibly rich right wing drug company executives. You're lying about your own mom's health problems and you're blaming it on Latinos. That's the kind of sick, racist, ungrateful son you are using your mom like that. Why don't you actually fight the drug companies that got her addicted in the first place? Oh, You're too busy taking their money, right? You mm -hmm. sicko. I'm tired of these Republicans. No one should tolerate how deeply immoral they are. They're a party of craven immorality, not only against their fellow man, but they would sell out their own moms just to get a couple more racist votes. That's exactly what JD Vance is doing. That's the kind of monster he is.